Hi, this is a stage four phonics video. We are looking at CVC words with the middle sound being the E, the E, e sound. Today is all about the N word family, the E-N at the end. We're going to start by hearing the sounds in words, then we're going to practice reading some words with these sounds, then we're going to get out our paper and pencil and write and spell some words. Then at the end, we'll go over the words that we've practiced today and the words that we've done in other lessons. Tutting is turned on. Are you ready to listen to the sounds? How many words can you think of that rhyme with den? This fox is in its den. Den, hen, ben, glen. How many words did you think of? These coloured circles help us to imagine the different parts of the word. So the green circle is like the first sound in the word. The red circle is like the last sound in the word. And the yellow circle, that's the middle sound. So in the word ten, what's the first sound? T, t, t. Last sound? Mmm. Middle sound? Eh, eh, eh. What about the word... Men. First sound. Mmm. Last sound. Mmm. Middle sound. Eh, eh, eh. Well done. Robot arms ready. Get ready to chop up the word and robot the sounds. The first sound we're going to do is den. I'm going to do it and then you can have a go. So den. D, e, n, den. Your turn. D, e, n, den. What about the word hen? H, e, n, hen. Your turn. H, e, n, hen. What about the word then? Now this is a tricky one because there is a digraph at the beginning. So there are four letters in the word, but only three sounds. H, e, n, then. Okay. Are you ready to read? the words with that, those sounds in them. Remember, you're trying to beat me at this. Can you read the words faster than I can? Hen. Ten. Pen. Men. Den. Then. When. Jen. Ben. Whew, how did that go? Now those last two words are interesting. I'm just going to go back to those two. So we've got Jen here and Ben. And they both have capital letters at the beginning. So we've got a capital J and a capital B. Hmm, why do you think those are capitals? They are names. So names always have a capital letter at the beginning. All right. The next part of our lesson is the writing and spelling part of the lesson. So you need something to write with and something to write on. And you also need to set your page up so it's got a small sun in the top right hand corner. So that's a place for you to collect your ticks. It also helps us to remember which way some letters face. Pause the video and get your things ready for that now. The first word we're going to write is men. Write the word men. Do you have an M? Do you have an E? Do you have an N? So we've got M, E, N, men. Give yourself a tick in the sun if you've got those three sounds. The next word we're going to write is ten. Write the word ten. Do you have a T? Do you have an E? Do you have an N? T, E, N, ten. Give yourself a tick if you've got all of those sounds. Make sure your T is a tall stick. It goes from the line it's sitting on all the way to the line above. If you've got a tall stick for your T, give yourself a bonus tick. The next word we're going to write is big. 
This dog is begging for food. Write the word beg. Do you have a B? Do you have an E? Do you have a G? B, E, G, beg. So that's a little bit different at the end to the other words we've done so far. The other words all ended in E, N, and they sounded like N, Ben, Hen, Ten, Glen. This one has egg on the end. B E G B E G beg. Give yourself a tick if you've if you've got those three letters correct. Have a look at your G as well. Make sure your G is facing away from the sun. And make sure your B is facing towards the sun. Make sure they're exactly like mine. If they are, give yourself a bonus tick. Next thing we're going to do is change the word big to bed. Big, bed. Which word is changing? Which letter is changing in that word? B, E, D, bed. So instead of a G, G on the end for big, it's got a D, D on the end for bed. Ready for the next one? So we're changing bed to bad. Bed, bad. So we've got b, a, d, bad. Give yourself a tick if you got those three letters. Did you notice that it was the middle sound that changed from an e, an e, e sound, to an a, an e, e sound? Bad. Now we're going to change bad to sad. Bad, sad. So we've got s, a, d, sad. Did you notice that it was the first sound that changed from a b, b, bad to a s, s, sad? Now it's time to write our silly sentence. I'm going to say the sentence twice and then you can have a go at writing it. The sentence is, Jen gets the red hen. Jen gets the red hen. Pause the video now and get ready to write your sentence. Here it is. Let's read it together. We've got Jen gets the red hen. So there are lots of words that we can stretch out here. We've got Jen. J, E, N, Jen, gets, G, E, T, S, gets, red, B, R, E, D, red, and hen, H, E, N, hen. If you spout those four words correctly, give yourself two ticks in the sun. Well done. Now the two, there are two words in this sentence that were part of the, the N, the E, N word family. Can you spot them? The words are Jen and Hen. And do you hear how they rhyme? Jen, Hen. Hmm. Next thing we need to do is check that this is a super silly sentence. So it needs to have capital letters, full stop, and finger space. So we've got our capital J at the beginning of our sentence. It's also a capital because it is a name. We've got our full stop at the end of our sentence. And we've got nice uh, sized finger spaces in between each word. If your sentence is a super silly sentence, you can have a bonus tick. Well done. The last part of this lesson is to revise the words that we've done today and in previous lessons. So we're trying to read these words really quickly, almost automatically, so that we don't have to stretch them out when we're reading. That's, this is what readers do when they're reading books. So let's see. Ten. Fog. Bed. Pan. Pen. Pop. Wed. Den. Nap. That. Then. Whew, how did that go? Some of them are a little bit tricky, especially when that middle sound, that middle vowel sound, changes all the time 
got to look really carefully at the letters because some of them look similar, like the O's and the A's and the E's. They're all those kind of circle shapes. So we've got to pay really close attention to which letter it is and which sound it's going to make. Well done for taking part in phonics today. See you in the next video. Bye.